If you're going to go into the hobby of soldering and maple or soldering, you're going to need a microscope. And then if you want to show people what you're working on, you're going to need a microscope camera. Now microscopes and cameras are very expensive. So like Wayne, who in a previous video showed off his microscope and camera setup, I thought in this video I'd show off my microscope camera and setup and hope that it helps someone. And then at a later date, if someone asks what kind of microscope I have, I can simply point them to this video and they can see what equipment I'm using. So here it is. This is the Amscope. It's a trinocular simulfocal scope. And if I click on this button, you should see that's it there. It's the 7x45 simul focal stereo lockable zoom microscope on a dual arm boom stand. Now the important one about this one is that it's simul focal, which means you can have the camera in the top and use both eyepieces at the same time. As you saw on the website, it comes with a 7 to 45 time zoom zoom and there was only 100 millimeters of working distance between the bottom of the lens and the, the piece that you're working on. And seven times zoom gives you that type of image through the eyepiece. Now that's a HDMI port, which is quite usable, but if you want to start looking around the board for things that could be broken or faulty. The seven times zoom is a little bit too close. The magnification is a little bit too high and the working distance is a little bit too short. So to get around that, to fix both of those problems, you buy a 0.5 Bardo lens, which screws onto the bottom of the microscope and that will increase the working distance that you can use and it'll turn your seven times magnification down to a 3.5 times magnification. That just screws on there. Like that. But then we'll have to raise the microscope up to get that in focus. So I'll just do that now while I pause the video. So now with the Barlow lens fitted, I've been able to raise the microscope quite a bit and the pins are now still in focus so I haven't changed the position of the head I've just raised the microscope on the on the stand and I've now if I measure that I have about 170 millimeters of working distance and I can see the board, I can see a lot more of the board for doing any type of fault finding and looking around the board. So that 0.5 Barlow lens on the bottom of the scope, that solves two problems in one. So let's look at the, the camera next. So the camera mount and this microscope has two small grub screws, one on each side. And that takes a 0.5 C-mount adapter. I'll just bring that up on, that's it there. 2183 at the moment. And that screws into the bottom of the camera. The camera is a 38 megapixel FHD camera V8. I think it's just a, a generic USB. It has HDMI. It has HDMI, USB and voltage. So that screws into the top of there and the grub screws 
help the camera stay in place as you move the microscope. The focal point between either the microscope, the bracket and the camera is slightly out. So I've had to use a 5mm C-mount spacer which screws into the bottom of the camera and then the camera screws into the bottom of the adapter and I'll set the camera in there line it up, tighten these grub screws up to stop it from moving the nice thing about the adapter is it's got the, the focusing ring the camera came from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description off the top of my head it was about £100 don't listen to this idiot he bought it from eBay and it only cost him £90 here's the picture so that's my microscope and camera setup that I use being able to see with both eyepieces helps out with the 3D and the zoom even though you've halved the zoom with the Barlow lens on the bottom of the microscope you go from 3.5 all the way down to half of half of 45 which is 22 and a half and it still works very well 22 and a half it's 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 too much you know if you're soldering a, a port you want to check the pins that's about 20 so that'll be about that'll be about a 10 times zoom down to a, a three times zoom so if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and if I can help I will and I'll see you in the next one